going on YouTube Marcus Zar here and we're on coin gecko and today we're going to look at band protocol ticker symbol B A N D and um, band is very very interesting because it's definitely a cryptocurrency that's in the DeFi space so you know how I love DeFi which stands for uh, decentralized finance so all you got to do is go to coingecko.com and um, this is a site where you can look at all your cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all your other altcoins that you see on the list here. It's all on CoinGecko.com. And then what you want to do is go to DeFi and we can see all the cryptocurrency that's related to the decentralized finance space. And this is the, um, the honeypot of crypto, I believe. And as far as the market cap, we're going up again. It's at $31 billion and that's extremely low for a financial um industry related to crypto and that number will continue to go up it might even hit one trillion one day which i'm really bullish on because i think it's going to hit that and then we have the total value lock which is 25 billion dollars that's locked up in these uh these smart contracts that you see here in these cryptocurrencies so um so yeah so ban is definitely on the list here as far as like me adding it to my portfolio because i believe it's a long-term hold and i'm really extremely bullish on what they're trying to do so let's go back to ban protocol and they're ranked number 23rd on the DeFi list so uh, ban protocol definitely have a lot of room to grow and as you guys can see this is a key number all right so before i get into the circuit being supply let's just look at the, the little little data right so it's currently uh, worth ten dollars 14 cents have a low market cap um, which is only 228 million this could easily be a billion dollar market cap especially dealing with crypto a nice trading volume which is about 306 million dollars in trading volume right we want to see some good trading volume my my limit as far as trading volume for me for my criteria is at least have a hundred thousand dollars in trading volume right anything less than a hundred uh hundred million excuse me a hundred million can i get the figures right so anything less than a hundred million dollars in trading volume i really don't look at it but hey all cryptocurrencies is different and all these different uh, projects have different things they're working on to help move the um, the industry of blockchain technology forward so um, that's just my criteria so we're gonna keep looking at um, other cryptocurrencies that have a lower trading volume and see see what we can do with them right is it is should we add it to a portfolio or should we uh, not pay attention to it okay so we got the 24 hour low which is was at 20 at eight dollars 43 cents and it's current high of ten dollars 55 cents in the last 24 hours so drop down a little bit um, and then you got fully dialed diluted valuation which is 1 million and then you have a circulating supply so this is a low circulating supply um, band only have a hundred um, million supply of bands that's available ticker so b-a-n-d and they currently only have two, 22 million um, circulating right that's available in the market to buy and this will go up because like I said it's DeFi um, it's a it's an oracle. So what's the oracle? So what you can do go to a reputable site go by uh, bandprotocol.com And we can get a look a little bit more information about what band protocol is trying to do I think um, I relate band protocol to um, Other cryptocurrency that's in DeFi and they're ranked number one in the DeFi space And it's another, another oracle which is Chainlink and Chainlink is at $19.57 and you can also just look at chain link circulating supply and you can see chain link circulating supply is a lot higher compared to band protocol so that's another factor just to look at as well but uh but yeah we're talking about band not chain link say chain link for another vehicle but band and protocol and chain link is trying to do the same thing as far as these oracles and what is it and, and what they're trying to do is it says right here band protocol is a cross chain data oracle platform that aggregates and connects real world data and apis to smart contracts okay so uh these smart contracts is pretty much where you can um so these smart contracts right it's, it's based on blockchain all these smart contracts hat is um, pretty much computer right it's software and you can build these smart contracts on blockchain to make a smart contract do whatever you want to do right 
You can do anything that you wanted to do as far as like blockchain technology and things like that. Um, so what Ban Protocol is trying to do with these smart contracts, right? These smart contracts don't have real data that could that they can pull from so they can make their smart contracts smarter, right? These smart contracts, it's really not that smart right now unless they have an Oracle behind them. And that's what these or data oracles trying to do, trying to feed these smart contracts with uh, real world information. And that's good because we want these smart contracts to really um, get the correct data as far as like prices, right? As you can see right here, feed trusted price data to DeFi with BAM protocols, uh, decentralized finance application, need price fees on token swap and loan collateralization process. With brand protocols built in price oracles, developers can build DeFi with an absolute peace of mind that the price fees there they are using are robust and tamper proof. So this just goes into a different um into an example of how this is being used right now, right? Binance is like one of the number one exchange as far as buying and selling cryptocurrencies. Then you got crypto compared, then we were just on CoinGecko, right? So we were just on CoinGecko, it's up, it's live and band protocol is you know showing you that this can be used with different sites and different blockchain technologies in the real world right we want real world cryptocurrencies that could be added to our portfolio that has a um, great use case and i think band protocol has a great use case and um, just like Chainlink, because this space is really just starting out so there's a lot of competition so it's really hard to pick to find out who's going to be like the number one as far as the winner as far as in the Oracle space, but hey, it's still up. It's a lot of opportunity, right? They all can actually be winners in some type of way. And that's just a little bit on the front page for ban. Um, and what they're trying to do, they got products as far as the ban chain node, uh, ban chain explorer, Oracle scripts and things like that. You go to the about section, they have a blog. And yeah, just really check out um, chain, um, ban protocol. I think ban protocol is, is definitely really a good time to um, start you know dollar cost averaging in uh, we are looking at the at the charts on trainingview.com so go to tradingview.com if you don't got a free account just create that free account and then I'm gonna have another video explaining how to use it more as far as like using the trade to do trend lines that you see on my chart here and just to get some more information how to look at these cryptocurrencies on the charts for opportunity right so chain so uh keep one say chain link but pan protocol right so band protocol if we're looking at the four hour if i go back to the one day we can see band is definitely hitting resistance right this is the resistant area for band fix this a little bit more so about nine dollars and and six four cents it's kind of like a resistance area for a band and then you know last time it done that it did go down in value right here which is on my trend line to support and this is a good support level for band which is around the five six dollar range uh but band yeah so band highs that we see against usd and you guys know how I like looking at it against the BTC trading pair. I'm gonna go to ban BTC against Bitcoin. And we can really see against Bitcoin, it's really, 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 really low, right? Uh, resistance about What's that? 25,000 Satoshis. 25,708 Satoshis. So when I say Satoshis, that's just me saying that one Bitcoin is worth one Bitcoin, right? So a fraction of a Bitcoin is called Satoshis. So since all this is, um, is against the BTC trading pair, all these numbers that you see on the right hand side, if you see those like 0 0.00026170, those are Satoshis, right? So this is Satoshi's, um, which is resistance, about 26170 Satoshi's, and support for band is about 17,575 Satoshi's. So, um, looking at the BTC trading, uh, 
chart it definitely looks good as far as the sale right you're looking for those good sales good entry points uh, if we go bring out the ruler here base it on the all-time high versus Bitcoin um, it's down about currently price 82.72 percent so it's down so definitely a lot of sellers and sold off they don't really even know what band is and band is definitely working in a huge field especially related to DeFi, decentralized finance and they're building these oracles to feed these smart contracts with real data and as you can see um, a lot of people didn't sell their position so fan is definitely going to be something i'm adding to my portfolio um, i'm gonna definitely dollar cost average into it and this is available on coinbase so if you got a coinbase um create a coinbase account i got my free link below so you guys can um, have your free um get your claim your ten dollars in btc and bitcoin and when you sign up and use my link so go ahead and use that and it's a reputable link to use as well so you don't have to worry about getting scammed and fish like that so you don't have to worry about that when you use my link so we can see ban if i click on portfolio if i scroll down here we see ban as an option to add it to our um to our wallet right to our portfolio and dollars cost average into ban so that's ban um, i'm definitely going to keep looking at ban ban protocol um anything oracle related that's going to feed data to, to a smart contract like Chainlink or BAM protocol um, that's definitely something you should do your research on further and not only that before I end this video you can also uh, run a validator node where you can um, um, pretty much stake your BAN and earn interest on your BAN right so it's become a validator run a BAN chain node and earn staking fees and extra income from delegations now and this is a way to do that and I'm gonna make another video called a video on how to do this type of stuff as far as staking your crypto so you can earn income on your cryptocurrencies that you're holding in your wallet so and, and you get a nice return for that so keep looking at the video watch the videos give this video a thumbs up smash that like button for me leave a comment below and uh, we're going to talk about the next cryptocurrency. I might just even talk about chain since chain link keeps popping out of my mouth. So that's another oracle as well. So yeah, Marcus are have a great one.